Let us understand what is inverse square law of magnetism. This is one magnet, and this is another magnet. Let us say the pole strength of this magnet is M1. And pole strength of this magnet is M2. Attraction between two magnets depends on the pole strength. Repulsion between two magnets is also depends on pole strength. If pole strength is more, attractive force is more. Similarly, if pole strength is more, repulsion force is also more. When magnets are in attractions or repulsion, some force acts in between them. Let's say it is F. This force. F is directly proportional to the product of pull strength. That is, F is proportional to M1 into M2. Let this is equation 1. Attractive or repulsive force is also depends on distance between the poles of magnets. Let's say distance is R. See here in this distance between two magnets attractive force is more. Similarly, with this distance between two magnets repulsion force is more. Observe here, if distance is more, force is less. If distance is less, then force is high. That means force is inversely proportional to distance. By definition, force is inversely proportional to square of the distances between them. We have F is inversely proportional to R square. This is equation 2. From both equations we get force of attraction or repulsion. F is directly proportional to M1 into M2 divided by R square. Inverse square law of magnetism states that the force of attraction or repulsion between the two poles of a magnet is directly proportional to the product of their pole strengths and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Between two magnets, force of attraction or repulsion depends on pole strength. If pole strength is more, attraction or repulsion is more. Distance between magnets. If distance is more, attraction or repulsion is less. And if distance is less, attraction or repulsion is more. There is one more factor which influence force of attraction or repulsion. That is, medium between magnets. What is the medium? When you place two magnets. What is in between two magnets? Air. Here air is the medium. Observe magnetic field passing from north pole to south pole of magnets. Now let's say I keep a piece of wood between magnets. Observe magnetic field between magnets. There is almost no effect on magnetic field. Here wood is medium between magnets. Now keep a piece of nickel between magnets. Observe magnetic field between magnets. Contract slightly into nickel. And magnets slightly start to attract. Here nickel is medium. Now keep a piece of iron between magnets. Observe magnetic field contract so much into iron piece. And both magnets attract each other. Here iron is medium. Here you have observed that. Force in between magnets, influenced by the medium. In this equation force is directly proportional to product of pull strength. And inversely proportional to square of distance. Since the force influenced by medium here you need to introduce medium constant. Let's say K. This constant defined as, nu by 4 pi. Here nu value depends on medium in between magnets. If wood is medium, then nu value equals to 1.257 into 10 to power minus 6. Henry Pometer
If nickel is medium, then nu value equals to 7.54 into 10 to power minus 4. Henry Pamitl. If iron is medium, then nu value equals to 6.3 into 10 to power minus 3 Henry per meter. Here nu is called magnetic permeability of the medium.